Stop it. Hey, what's up guys? Today's video is a reaction video for a DIY pixie haircut inspired by my pixie tutorial. One of my followers on YouTube saw my pixie haircut video and decided to cut her own hair as inspired by the video. So I'm very, very excited to watch her cut her own hair at home in quarantine while I give you guys feedback. So we're gonna go step by step and I'm going to see what I think of the haircut, whether she did a good job or not and what I would do differently. So let's get started. So before I get started, actually, I think she's Filipino, so she doesn't speak English. So I'm gonna be watching the video and I'm gonna be kind of narrating. I believe this is her intro. I think she's saying that uh, she's always wanted to have her hair cut. She's always wanted short hair. She's really nervous because she's laughing. And that's her hair. Oh, wow. She's got really thick hair. It's very healthy. It's medium. For some reason, I thought she had longer hair, but she actually has quite medium length hair, but there's a lot of it. I don't know what she's going to do. Okay. Let's see what she's going to do. So she's got a pair of scissors, and she's got a white tooth comb. I don't know if a white tooth comb is, is the right choice. She's nervous. I wish there was more lighting because I'd be able to see better, or at least like see the back, but... I mean, the fact that she recorded this is kind of crazy. I don't think I would I would record it. I think I'd be too scared. <laughs> I did used to cut my own hair, though, before I came here. Does her. Oh, my gosh, she's going to do this. Okay, so she sectioned the top away from the bottom, which is good that you want to do that. You want to be able to section the back away from the top and the front. Oh, my gosh, she's going to go for it. Oh, I hope she doesn't cut her fingers. I feel like she's probably been, <laughs> yeah, make a little prayer. OMG, oh my God, she's going for it. <gasps> Did she cut? I don't think she cut anything. Okay, she's twisting it. Those shears are going to dull so fast because they're not sharp and even with sharp scissors you do not want to do this i'm just going to pause it right here if you guys want to go short and you want to cut your hair use trimmers use uh clippers the ones that that you use for men's hair those are great they're meant to take off a lot of hair and they're not going to dull the way that you know scissors are going to dull so Okay, I think I just held my breath. Oh my god. I'm actually quite nervous. <laughs> oh, she's just hacking at it. But these scissors, how are these going through? She's got a lot of hair. I would have used texture. I would have used uh, clippers first and then a ton of texture shears because that takes out a lot of the bulk. Oh my god, she's still going at it. I bet you her arm was killing her. Oh, she's still got a bit left because the scissors can't go through your hair like that. That's. Maybe use like kitchen scissors. <laughs> I don't know why it, it it's like painful when you cut your own hair or when you cut hair. It's kind of like, I mean, satisfying when I do it, but if you're going to do it for yourself, it can feel really emotional and it can feel like you're letting go of a lot of things. It's, it's, it's really quite, feel wow. <laughs> it's gone. There it is. Bye bye hair. Okay, I'm gonna pause here. Okay, wow, she, she's going super, super fast. So she sectioned the sides and she sectioned the back and she sectioned the top. So she hasn't touched the top yet, which is right. She's doing the right thing. She cut the back first, which is what I would do. I would always go start in the back and then go into this. Would I cut the sides first? A lot of stylists, depending on the face shape and the hair texture, uh, we might start in the front because we wanna see how it's gonna fall and then blend it into the back. But she started in the back because obviously she has so much hair. So she's like, I'm just gonna, sometimes I do that. Like I'll do a big rough cut like I'll just go hacking at the hair and then I'll go in and start shaping it I feel like she's probably a hairstylist in the making okay and then she 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 took away the size so the temples and she cut those kind of this way I think and that way at an angle a diagonal angle which is quite nice because you want that so that it, it, it falls layered you know you don't want to cut it horizontally or vertically you don't want to cut it straight 
because that's going to give you very choppy layers. So let's keep watching. She's so brave. Okay, wow. She, so she pulled this side back and then she went up this way. So that's going to actually layer the hair when it falls forward. So I don't know if she did this on purpose, but she, it's right. Okay, now she's going shorter. So at first she did like a big chop and now she's going closer to the scalp. And she's going behind her ears. She's, she's doing a really good job. I'm actually quite impressed with this. Now she's just having fun. Now she's just having fun because she's, you can just tell she's like, okay, I'm gonna go shorter and shorter and shorter and closer to the scalp. And she's kind of brushing it down and cutting and brushing it down. I feel like this is a, a frustration quarantine haircut. She's probably been thinking about it for years. And she's like, what better time to do this than now? So she's bunching the back. She's bunching the back away from the, the sides and the temples, which is, I mean, it's right. It's not wrong. And she's cutting up and she's cutting down. So that's going to create layers and it can create a point. If you cut this way and this way, it can create a point. Her hair is falling so nicely. So I do want to put a disclaimer here. Her hair seems like it's very cooperative. A lot of hair is not cooperative. If you were to do this on fine hair, wavy hair, curly hair, uh, it would not look like this. this. It wouldn't just, it's sitting so well to her temples, the side of her hair is kind of falling into uh, onto her ears so so nicely. I, I don't think, I think her hair just kind of likes this haircut. And her, her shears are so dull by now that I do worry about her cuticles kind of dulling and getting frizzy. I've seen haircuts like this where people cut their own hair and they the, the, the layers are not blended. So what ends up happening is you do end up with very, very choppy layers. It doesn't grow out very nice. It's um, it's nice for the for the moment, but it doesn't grow out very well. I thought she was using texture shears at first because I saw a snippet of the video and I was like, oh yeah, texture shears because that's what I talk about in my videos. But she's just using straight blade shears. Okay, now she's sectioning off the top. I think she's doing such a good job by sectioning the sides away from the top and away from the back. This is really important because your back, the back and the sides are kind of your foundation. So if you want the top to fall forward or however you want it to sit, what I would normally do is just take off the sides and make them really short, make the back really short and let the, the, the top kind of do its thing. Uh, especially if you have curly hair, it's actually quite trendy to do that. So she's sectioning off the top. Now she's blending the top in with the sides which is actually quite correct. It's not, it's again, it's, like, it's not accurate. This isn't like a professional haircut, but she's kind of doing the right things. She's going up like this from the back, which is, mm, I don't know, it's kind of, that's gonna create weight. So now she's gonna go in, I think, and take, I hope she does the top. So I, I think the reason she keeps going up like this is because she wants it so tight and she's like she's thinking like i can take this shorter and shorter and we always have the bulk of our hair back here so she's going up she's grabbing this and she's just hacking at it and i call it hacking because it's called it maybe rough cutting <laughs> oh now she's gonna take the top Okay, so I think she's gotten the sides to a nice length that she likes, and now she's ready to take off the top. I wonder if she followed the instructions in my video where I talk about sectioning the back and the sides. I think she must have. Or maybe she's watched just a, a ton of other videos. Oh my god, here she goes. <gasps> okay, okay, okay. So she cut diagonally and then she cut one piece like horizontally that's gonna be a terrible grow out what i would have done is taking the hair forward and depending how you want it to fall you could cut it down like this so you could do this diagonally and then it can fall into layers but to cut it diagonally and then 
like one part diagonal and then one part choppy um, straight across horizontally. I don't know. This is interesting because once you let the hair fall forward, if you have a lot of hair, the first thing that's gonna happen is your parting is gonna show. You're gonna see where your hair wants to sit. So now I can see that her parting is on her left side. So she has one long piece here and that I'm thinking she's going to cut. Yeah, there it is. So now she's blending the top in with, with the rest of her hair. So that's really smart. So she actually, her sectioning from the top was more than she needed, which is correct. For me, I always like to stay on the safe side and some hair cutters are very, very precise. They're probably way better than I am. And I like to do more intuitive hair cutting. I always like to be safe. I will always take bigger sections and section off more than I need just in case because you can always cut the hair. You don't you can't always put the hair back on. So what she did was she cut her, she, she sectioned the top lower than what she needed. She could have just parted on the left and then just cut this and then cut the top. But she, what she did was she, she took all of the hair and then once she was satisfied with the sides in the back, decided to blend the top with the sides. Her hair is falling so well. I did not expect this at all. Okay, now she's refining, good girl. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh my, okay, can we just pause this for a second? Look at how nice her hair is falling. Like, look at that. This is just kind of fascinating, honestly. Um, her hair is so healthy and it really likes, it likes this haircut. So she's continuously doing the same thing. She's sectioning the top and cutting into the sides and blending the, the top with the bottom as she's moving up until she gets what the, the look and the feeling that she wants. Because the top feels really heavy. So she is sectioning and, and, and refining slowly, taking the sides away from the top and then slowly cutting into the sides so that it falls really well. She didn't just leave it. She's actually kind of refining the cut now. <laughs> Her hair is so shiny. That's a lot. I don't know why she cut off all of that. Okay, she wanted it shorter. Look at how nicely the layers are falling. Please do not try this at home because her hair is very, very different. Her hair likes this hair, this this cut. Her hair is very cooperative. There is hair that's very cooperative that likes that just sits right. That just kind of does what what it's told, and and that looks like that's her hair. I mean, I wish that there was more light. So she's using her parting now. She's, oh, look at that. She just, she just did a little like point cutting into the hair. Yeah, she's a hairdresser. Now she's blending, blending the lines, creating structure. Okay, we have to appreciate this. Oh my God. Okay, look at this like asymmetrical graduated bob, almost pixie. I guess it's like a pixie. Sure, I'll call it a pixie. Yeah, I can see the choppy layers there. Her hair falls so nicely, but I be bet she feels so good. I bet it's so freeing for her. Oh, she's got one hair sticking out. Okay, get rid of it. I think one of it just hurts me when I see dull shears going at hair. Oh my god, it actually suits her so much. And I love how the old color now just looks like new color. This is actually a phenomenon that I tell my clients all the time. You don't need your balayage redone, just get a haircut. <laughs> it will make it look like you just got your color done. Okay, her hair is, I wonder if she has any product in it. I want, she's not even gonna need to blow dry it. 
I like that she's sort shorter on one side, longer on the other. I love how it's sitting on on her face shape. I love. Okay, she just did something. I think she's a hairdresser. Like like internally, like she's she's an actual hairdresser. She's gonna be a hairdresser. When she picked up her shears, she used her thumb. Did you see that? Let's let's rewind that for a second. So usually when we use shears, we use both. Is she? I think she's holding it correctly. Yeah, she's holding the shears correctly. Like she's holding it in her ring finger and the thumb. And then we use this pinky finger to hold it in place. And then we use our thumb to cut. And that's exactly what she did. So either she has hairdressers in her family or she's bought, been watching a lot of hairdressing videos. This is uh, this is kind of this is interesting. She's a pro. This one. She's a pro. Oh my god! Look at the back. Stop it! Stop. The back looks amazing. The sides look amazing. It's falling. So I mean, I don't really need to say much. Her color looks good. It's just like it's just flowing. How? How, how, how does she do this? Okay, I think this is the end of the video. Stay inside your house, that's funny. I think she's happy. I think she loved it. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about what just happened. If you're gonna go short, use clippers. If you're just going to use shears from the drugstore, they're gonna dull really, really fast because they're not professional shears. So they're not gonna be as good quality. So just use your trimmers uh, or get a pair of trimmers and those will do the job just to cut off the length first. I do worry about this haircut because I have seen people who cut their own hair and they will proudly tell me, I cut my own hair, look at how awesome it is. I can tell that they either got a really bad haircut from, you know, from a bad salon <laughs> or they cut their own hair at home. I was working with a model once and I saw her hair and I was like giving her an updo and I asked her where she got her hair cut because I never want to uh, put down someone who's paid money to get their hair cut and have it be a bad haircut. So I usually I'm like, oh, where'd you get your hair done? And they would say I cut it myself. I'm like, okay, whew, I could tell because those are some really, really choppy layers. That haircut is not going to grow out well because she cut up and down and horizontal and vertical and all kinds of cuts and it sits well for like fine for now but over time this is why i talk about texture shears they blend the hair really really well if you're gonna use them at home i will link them below they will allow your hair to grow out really well really well because they they cut into the hair and they create dimension and texture into the hair. So whenever you're doing, you know, straight cuts, it's not gonna, it's not gonna look very good in the long term. But her hair is really healthy. I, I actually quite enjoyed this video, and I hope I gave you some good feedback. Make sure you like and subscribe and do all of the things because it helps with the YouTube algorithm. And you can find me on Instagram at Lena's Makeup and Hair. I'll see you guys in another video. Bye.